daydream. I am excited to share with you today this wall art that we're gonna be building. If you look at the print here, you'll see this is like a stair stepping pattern. This is gonna be a Mohawk die section on both of these. This is gonna be an amazing mirror section here. And then we're gonna frame it all with some 6'4 uh, timber. We got these boards cut through the resaw on the bandsaw. I have three stacks here. So, you know, one stack will be one color, the other stack will be the other color, and then the third stack I have will plane down to a little bit thinner and I'll put the mirrors on top of that. Uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do now, is we are going to run them through the planer and make them be from a half inch to about a three eighths of an inch. Uh, if you are using one by fours, this is where you're coming into action. So you are gonna be running your boards through the planer to get them down to three eighths of an inch. All right, so we ran them through the planer, got them down to three eighths of an inch and one quarter inch for the smaller ones. Now I have the table saw set up to rip it to the width of 2 and 9 sixteenths. We'll go ahead and run these through and, uh, and then we'll start cutting our trapezoid. We're going to make some trapezoids. So to do that I have all the pieces that we cut out and we are going to cut an angle on it, a 30 degree angle, using a precision miter gauge or a miter gauge, or a miter saw, and we'll just run it through there, and we'll cut. We're gonna cut all the angles on the first one first, and then we'll go back and set a stop so that we can cut and make all of our trapezoids the same size. So, let's get to it. This is 5 and 29 30 seconds. This is what I did. I'm gonna get you a measurement from here to there, which I owe that to you. That's, it's like 4 and 3 eighths, but I'm gonna put it on the prints. Okay, so what I did is I measured 5 and 29 30 seconds, and then I took this. This is a Wixley protractor. I drew my 30 degree line here, or 60 degree. Um, but you won't have to do that because once I get you that dimension, you can just draw it, mark it, put your square over, and then you'll have your your line for where to set your uh, for where to set your precision miter gauge. Okay, I went ahead and cut three of these so I can show you kind of what they look like. It's kind of a kind of tricky to put together. Yeah, that's right. So they'll end up looking. Kind of like that. Once I had my mark set here, I knew where I needed the stop to go. And so I'd mark, I'd line up my mark with my blade there, which of course I don't have, but the mark would be right there. So I'd line it up and say, yep, that's where it needs to go. I have a block of wood, which is just a scrap, and then some Craig uh, quick clamps. That I just put on there. So we'll do this. We'll go ahead and just plow through all these uh, pieces of wood. All of our trapezoids cut. And they're over there. Here I have a few of them laid out. Um, now I'm going to cut the mirror. So I'm going to cut the width at 2 and 9 sixteenths, and then I'll just use one of these to kind of trace the trapezoid pattern on it and I'll cut them. Uh, you can kind of see how this is going to how this is going to work out. Here.
how the pattern is going to look and we're going to be um, leaving half of the wood pieces natural wood and then we're going to stain the other half um, with some Balin Solar Lux um, dye stain in maple brown. Um, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. This alcohol dye, um, you can just wipe it on and it dries almost immediately. And it just has a really rich color, but you can still see the wood grain through it. And we love it for that reason. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. This is a scrap that we had laying around. It's um, press board, uh, fiber board. It's a 5 8 And we're going to cut it down to, right now this is 23 and an eighth. So we're going to cut down the 23 and an eighth the other way, make it square, which is a little bit longer than the final dimension, but we'll trim it all up later after we get the stuff done. So, let's get to it. I took the top edge of this and cut off all the all the excess so I could line it up with the top edge of the backer board. And to do that I just took you know a square on these ones here. So it would have been like I took and marked it like that. And then cut it off with the bandsaw. And then on these guys I took and just went from corner to corner there. So it'd be from corner to corner, and then you just cut off the excess. So that gave us a straight edge here, um, and we have a straight edge here. So we're gonna try and keep two straight edges, and then we don't care if uh, the pieces overlap on these two sides, because we'll trim it up with the table saw. So, this is Type Bond Original. I'm just going to dump it on here. As you can see, we left this edge here with a little bit of the backer board um, showing on both sides. And so we'll take it through the table saw and clean up both uh, this edge and this edge, and then we'll go we'll clean off that uh, little bit of uh, left over here too on both sides. So let's get going. Some of these, as I'm putting them in here, they don't quite fit perfectly here, so I'll take my pencil and make a mark. And then I'll just come back with the exacto knife and cut those out.
use one by fours, it's just gonna be as thick. And I have 45 degree miters cut on one side. These are one inch wide by two inches here. And so I'm just gonna get them <clears throat> lined up and then I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna mark, mark that edge. And I'll mark this edge right there.